Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? Alex Jenkins checking in one more time. Uh, so, yeah, um, doing an update on SP 500. Uh, we definitely had a change of events. Um, market definitely uh, came here to this price level here and plummeted. And definitely crashed down to the downside and made this low down at 42.9375. We have some pop up and come back down action. For a retest of price down here and back to the upside. Now we got downside movement, so I believe market sentiment has changed for a little. I think uh, we're suspecting uh, a nice crash coming. Uh, they was really anticipating this for quite a, for a while, dealing with uh, tapering and things of that nature. So we may uh, experience a taper tantrum. So this could uh, cause the market to be very volatile and uh, very um, really won't be able to, uh, I guess it'd be more uh, definitely mysterious in some type of way, not mysterious, but uh, erratic. <laughs> you won't be able to, you know, be solid with your analysis because it'd be too much volatility. So uh, just got to be careful with this right now and this this time right now. But I do expect it to um, come down right now. It could move up a little. We could do the market fake outs and come up to the upside and then decide to fall. But if it's going to stay within the boundaries of the uh, trend, the current trend, we'll see if it stays intact and uh, continue to move to the downside and possibly uh, go down to the previous low. We'll see how it attacked this previous low if it get down to this area. Or how you know how long it takes to get to that area? If, you know, maybe another week, maybe another. You know, we may get an expansion in this wave, so it might the period might be longer this time around. It might keep expanding. Okay, so we you know the cycle is you know the market cycles are getting a little bigger and wider. But definitely seeing uh, whether it's going to break uh, four to one twelve, that'll be giving me an indication that this thing is moving to the downside. To really break uh, out past this this area here at 43.94, so we're looking at uh, just short of just below 4400. So we definitely want to see if the market can break break this level here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put an alert there as well. Once we know it's going past this level, we know it's possibly gonna sell off. Oh, excuse me. I will get alerted on this here. When I really worried about this uh this um resistance level here, the support level here. You know, this is not you know it's it definitely it definitely caused the market turnaround at this price. It shot up all the way to four seventy nine, so definitely has some power to it. So we'll see how the market responds to that price, but if it breaks these levels, we know we got some downside movement and we can expect the market to move to the downside. But if it doesn't break these levels, we know the market is going to continue to move to the upside and possibly go see 4479 and then decide to fall. We'll definitely see whether this uh, trend stay intact and uh, I'll definitely be getting back with you guys uh, sometime next week. So this is the S&P. Chart analysis. I was Jenkins checking out, guys.